Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm just letting a few more people hop on. I'm a little under the weather tonight. I'm sick. I have a cold, so forgive the way I sound. I've got a little Christmas cheer going on in the background. I want to thank everybody for start joining tonight's webinar. We're going to have a main speaker on in just a little bit. I'm going to go over a few ground rules before we get started. The webinar is going to be like an hour and a half long. We usually do an hour of talk time and maybe 20 to 30 minutes of, of Q&A, but Joe will decide how long that goes for. Um, I'm going to start the presentation out tonight with a couple of slideshows about our company and who we are, and then I'm going to turn it over to Joe. We uh, want you to send in your questions during the whole entire presentation. If you look on your Zoom toolbar, you should have a little Q&A on, on your toolbar, and you should be able to click Q&A. Go ahead and click yes if you can hear me. We want you to go ahead and send questions in during the whole entire presentation. We don't want, we don't want you to forget your questions. It's not going to interrupt us. Thanks. I got many yeses. Thank you so much. Um, so send your questions in during the whole entire presentation. That way you don't forget what your questions were. It's not going to interrupt Joe. We're not going to be opening it up until Q&A in the end anyways, but we want you to go ahead and send the questions in during the whole presentation. Joe wants to do kind of a live thing to where he engages the audience and he might ask questions and he'll have you guys comment. So when he asks you to comment, just do the Q&A, okay? Um, like I said, it's gonna last about an hour and a half. We'll do Q&A in the end. I'm gonna do a quick demonstration in the beginning. Um, we are not affiliated with, with Joe in any way. Uh, he's a third party speaker. We, we don't affiliate ourselves with any speakers or anything like that. They're just on here to give you free content. We don't get paid for them being on here. They don't get paid for being on here, vice versa. It's just to share knowledge with you guys. Um, we're gonna be giving away a lot of bonuses in the end, so make sure you stay on. He's gonna be dropping a lot of bombs in the end of his presentation, so I'm giving away a lot of free knowledge, so definitely stay till the end. Foreclosures Daily also is gonna be giving away a free county for anybody who signs up for leads between now and Friday. So Foreclosures Daily, we've been in business for a long time, since 2004, and I've, I've helped start the company um, since 2004, and I've helped many investors, realtors, and attorneys grow their business and increase their revenues. I teach people how to use different types of leads that we have to offer. And I will also do webinars for you guys from time to time with me teaching for the whole hour and a half. I teach the do's and don'ts of marketing, what to say, what not to say, how often to mail, so on and so forth. This is who we are. We're a nationwide lead provider. We provide leads to investors, realtors, attorneys, and just your basic first time home buyer. We've been in business since 2004, and since then we've been the internet's number one destination for the most detailed, timely, and accurate information. How we are different than other lead providers is we're actually very, very different. We provide leads with real estate attached. It's very important that you understand what that means. For example, if you buy, let's say, probates or divorce leads, you don't want all 300 people who filed for divorce or probate, right? You want the 15 that have property. Only seven to 10% of the people that die will file probate that actually will own real estate. And the same with divorce, not a lot of people own property these days. So you only want to get a company that provides you with real estate attached and most companies out there do not do that. And I don't know of any company that has weekly fresh data. We also have property appraisers information on most of the data types that we offer, such as bedrooms, baths, type of property and just your basic information about the house. Most companies we found are quarterly and they're not farming for real estate. And we do understand the importance of having fresh data. These are some of the leads that we offer. We have about 25 and we also customize your leads for you, but we do things like probates, pre-probates, absentee owners, inheritance, divorce, tax lates, auctions, list pendants, cash buyers, code violation, evictions, um, all kinds of different leads, unknown equity. These are some of the things we offer. Like um, we don't offer the postcards, but we, we hook you up with companies that will give you deeply discounted rates. And these are some of the postcards that I recommend. I really like the one with the property street view. A lot of companies will charge you like a dollar to send this out, but we have a company that'll do it for you for only 42 cents, just for mentioning our name, literally 42 cents with postage. And some of the postcards that don't have a house on it, a picture of a house, just like a basic generic postcard. You know, I want to buy your house fast cash, no repairs. I pay all the closing costs, things like that. They'll send out for like 38 cents with postage. So we'll give you, we'll get you access to companies that will give you deeply discounted rates. This is a letter, a handwritten font letter that that same company will do for you. And they literally only charge 64 cents with postage if you mention our name. So we have the, we have the ability to get you deeply discounted rates with a lot of different companies. Um, 
These are the bonuses you'll receive when you purchase leads. And these are free. This is something that we just do above and beyond for you. These people are not affiliated with our company in any way. We just, we just give you access to their information because they'll, they're offering to do deeply discounted rates for you and they're very good. I'm gonna give you a six step mailing campaign, tells you how often to mail and the spacing in between. You'll also get a six touch campaign telling you what to mail first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. I'm also gonna give you a phone script on how to negotiate with a seller. I'm also gonna give you a phone script on how to speak to the attorney expressing interest in the said property. And an email to send the, to the attorney expressing interest as well. In fact, we had an attorney on a webinar, I think it was a month and a half ago, and she said to all the investors that are reaching out to her in reference to like a probate case she may be handling or divorce lead, she said she just send your information right to the personal representative if it's a probate and then right to the wife and the husband if it's a divorce. So definitely reach out to the attorney. That's always a good way to uh, reach the seller. Um, I'm also going to give you postcards that I recommend that you use, the letter that I recommend that you use. A probate book is going to be mailed directly to your property. The probate book is wrote by the author Kevin Sales. He wrote the probate book called Probate Real Estate Sales 101, and we mail that book to every single person who purchases probate leads. And we know the author personally, um, so he does vouch for us, and he's on the front page of our website as well. And we've actually met him in person, and he also did a webinar with us. So we'll share his webinar replay with you, teaching the seven ways to make money in probate real estate investing. I'm also going to give you that special link to receive, receive reduced mail rates and multiple links to receive skip tracing for only 15 cents and they'll yield you back up to 10 phone numbers and five emails. So those are some of the things you'll get for purchasing leads from us. And this is the kind of the pricing structure that we have. We normally offer full price for two counties. Um, when we do a buy one, get one free, but we are actually going to be offering a free county at these deeply discounted rates. And it's something that we never really do unless we're on a webinar, or it's like Christmas time or something like that. That's the only time we ever do anything like this. So you guys are gonna get to be getting a free county. So if you wanna purchase probates or pre-probates or inheritance or code violation or eviction or divorce, these are your standard discounted rates. Um, but we're actually gonna throw a free county in for anybody who purchases by Friday instead of charging you 50% off. I'm going to go ahead and get our speaker on here in just a moment. His name is Joe Dilling. He says he's been wholesaling for, I guess, five years now. And he's going to be teaching you guys the three-step roadmap to scaling your business to seven figures. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to Joe Dillon. And uh, he's going to be taking the floor from here. Joe, are you with us? I'm with you. I'm going to go ahead and stop my share and you're going to go ahead and we're going to have you start yours and welcome and thanks for being on with us tonight. We really appreciate you taking the time out to talk to our, our people tonight and, and give some free content away. Absolutely. It's, I'm more than, more than happy to. I'm uh, happy to spread the knowledge that I've, uh, that I've gained on this journey. And uh, to be honest, like that gives me the most fulfillment. So super happy to be here. Okay. Well, I went ahead and I'm going to, I stopped my share for you so you can go ahead and start showing your presentation and, and just take the floor from here and let me know if you guys need anything. Cool, cool. All right, so uh, welcome, guys. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to shut off my, my video uh, because I want you guys to really be engaged and I want you guys to uh, pay attention to the presentation, okay? really want you to digest the content. We're going to be going through a lot today, and so I really want to make sure that you guys are paying attention, okay? So that's the first thing that I want to talk about, actually, before we jump in, is I want you guys to really learn here. I want you to engage. I want you to pay attention. Okay. Nobody's keep, nobody's holding you accountable when you're at your computer. Okay. Nobody is going to know if you're dozing off or if you're paying attention or if you're getting distracted. Okay. So I want you guys to really make sure your attention is in tune. Okay. I'm going to be uh, dropping a lot of freaking bombs today, giving you the exact roadmap that we use to scale our business to seven figures and that you can do the exact same thing as well, all right? So make sure that you're paying attention. So pay attention. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to shut off my video here, and we're gonna go ahead and start this presentation. All right, so can you guys, uh, everybody can see my screen? So hopefully so, okay, cool. All right, so uh, guys, I run a movement, okay? I like to call it a movement rather than a business, rather than an organization a movement called the seven figure wholesale uh, movement. Okay. And uh, basically we have truly helped uh, many, many investors and wholesalers from around the country truly scale their business um, in this wholesaling and real estate investing in general operations. 
Um, and so uh, before we jump in, the first thing that I want to know is who's actually in the room, okay? So I want you guys to engage here. So I want to know who I'm talking to. So who here would consider themselves a new wholesale? When I say new, let's say less than a year into the game, maybe you've closed a deal or maybe you haven't closed the deal yet, you've been trying. Uh, if you're new, just go ahead and type new, right? in the comments. I really just want to see, get a gauge for who I am talking to here. Um, and so, all right, so typically, all right, all right, cool. Guys, so definitely engage here. I want to see who's new. All right, so we got about, let's say 10% of the people, uh, it's jumping up, so let's see. All right, so while we're doing that, while those other people are, um, are typing, again, guys, if you just hopped in, if you're new to the game, just go ahead and type new into the Q&A. Um, so we got about, let's say 15% or so, 20% or so people that are new to this business. All right. So uh, now let's see uh, who is actually a little, a little bit more than 20%. Okay. Maybe, maybe about a third. All right. Now let's see who's intermediate. Okay. When I say intermediate, I mean, let's, you've been in the game for longer than a year and uh, maybe you've closed five, 10 deals, uh, something like that. and um, uh, you know, you're, you haven't scaled yet, but you're definitely not new to the game. You've talked to many, many sellers before. So uh, if you are intermediate, just type, uh, just type two, Ch type the, the number two. I want to see who is actually intermediate here. All right. Type two. Cool. Uh, cool. Close. Hey, what's up, Brittany? Close seven deals, but haven't gotten full to go on full time with it. Cool. All right, so we typically have, I wanna give, a, give those people a minute to type that in. So if you're intermediate, again, you've closed a few deals, just type the comment, uh, type two in the comments in the Q&A section. All right, so now if you are uh, advanced, let's say you, you have a team, you do this full time, 100%, you've closed you know, more than 20, 30 deals, uh, and you know, you, this is, this is your full time, sometimes even overtime and you have a, a business, you have, uh, some processes, you have an operation. Um, if you are in that segment, go ahead and, and type advanced, just type advanced into the comments. And I want to see, so, cause typically, uh, most of the crowds that I talk to, we have, a, a, about a third, a third, a third. So just curious to see. Um, so we definitely have some advanced people. What's up, Anthony? See you here, man. Um, definitely have some familiar names here. So appreciate you guys coming back. Um, all right, cool. So we have a good spread. And so I definitely want to know who I'm talking to so that I can tailor my messages and tailor how I'm talking to you guys, uh, to that. All right. So let's, let's dive in guys. I want to know why you're here, okay? So at this point, guys, again, I've built a seven-figure wholesale business myself, and I've taught, uh, I've had the privilege of teaching uh, hundreds of other wholesalers and real estate investors how to scale their business as well. Uh, and so, you know, I've probably talked to uh, over 2,000 wholesalers at this point. Um, and every single wholesaler I talk to and investor that I talk to usually has the same struggles, okay? I work a lot and do everything in my business, right? I have little structure and system. Some months are up, some months are down. I'm doing one to three deals a month right now, maybe even less than that. And I wanna scale my business to five to 10 deals a month, right? I'm a one man show or one woman operation. I don't know how to find and train good people uh, or I wanna spend more on marketing, but I just don't know where. Okay, guys, if any of these resonate with you, I want you to type yes, okay? And to be perfectly honest, there should probably be a, almost 100% uh, of you guys that are in here, if you're in here, um, probably fall into this category, okay? So if this is you guys, just go ahead and type yes. Okay, cool, love it, love it, love it, all right? Um, so I'm talking to the right people, but just so you guys know, as there's a ton of you who are responding with yes, you're not alone, okay? And this is why I enjoy and I truly am passionate about doing what I do because I enjoy solving problems and helping people elevate through problems, okay? So um, what we're gonna be talking about today, guys, is the three-step roadmap 
to scaling your real estate business to seven figures, okay? All we're gonna be talking about is three steps, three simple steps, all right? I've broken it down to that and simplified it to the most comprehensible steps possible. So we're gonna be jumping right into that, but um, before we do that, let me tell you about me, okay? So uh, my name is Joe Dillon again, uh, and I'm 29, I'm from DC. I had humble beginnings, right? I had shared a, a, you know, a small apartment with, uh, with my big family and you know, I shared a, a small bedroom with two brothers for my, uh, pretty much my entire childhood. But I've always uh, had an, an entrepreneurial mindset. I've always believed in myself and I've always uh, knew that I was destined for, for greatness. I was destined for something greater, okay? So um, if this is you, and I'm sure it is you guys because you guys are here on this, willing to learn, ready to engage and ready to implement, uh, and learn and, and keep using that to further your growth. Uh, if this is you guys, the, the thing that I want to tell everybody here is the most important thing is your belief in yourself. Okay. I've had a great belief in myself ever since I was a young kid. Okay. And uh, that to be perfectly honest is the main ingredient to becoming successful. All right. Um, and so I've always been, uh, have that entrepreneurial mind and I've always had that growth oriented mindset. And so, um, I'm obsessed with personal growth as you can you know, probably see and, and, uh, and self-discovery, right? Um, because I think that's truly where life really is. So guys, I've built two seven figure real estate businesses, um, already, you know, by the time I was 29 and, and, uh, it's impacted my life so much that now I help other real estate investors get from one to three deals a month to 10 deals a month plus. All right. So um, you don't have to type anything in the comments, but if you want to get to 10 deals a month plus, just uh, give me a virtual uh, raise, of, raise of your hand. Okay. You don't have to type anything in the comments, just uh, not along here with me. So um, guys, what I want to talk about is why you got into the industry. Okay. So uh, I go back and forth with a lot of people on this, but you know, I want you to, to think to yourself, like, why did you get into wholesaling? Okay. And if you're not full-time yet, uh, if you're kind of teetering around with this, why do you want to get into the industry? What is it going to do for you? Right. Um, because I think a lot of people have a misconception of this, uh, this industry, right? We have all the big box gurus nowadays telling you, Hey, you can buy houses with no cash, right. And no money down. And, uh, and they're making it seem really freaking easy. Okay. Is this business easy? <laughs> for those of you who, uh, who have been in the business for, you know, for a little while now, you probably can understand and know that this business is, is not easy, right? You put, you might've gotten into the whole, into the wholesaling industry though, because the market was ripe. Maybe it seemed like a great way to entrepreneurship and freedom. Uh, maybe you, you know, again, you can buy houses with no money down, right? However, you're realizing it's more difficult to do that than, than say right now because the market's completely saturated, right? There's more competition than ever. Everyone and their freaking brother and their mother is a wholesaler now and it's no longer a secret, right? And uh, it's no longer a hidden industry. So you're trying to figure out how to break free and stand apart in a saturated world. And you know, you've probably bought some lists. You've probably tried different marketing channels. You, 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 maybe you're not getting enough leads and you're having dead end conversations with sellers. These are conversations that I have over and over and over and over with wholesalers across the country. And uh, maybe you've even bought some other courses and it's not working, right? And now it's harder and harder to get contracts. And because of that, you have inconsistent deal flow and you're living deal to deal, right? Uh, again, you don't have to type anything in the comments, but if this resonates with you guys, just give me a virtual nod, right? Um, again, I've talked to so many wholesalers across the nation and everyone, almost everyone, right? That doesn't have this system down is dealing with these issues. And now because of that, you're stressed, right? Because you, you know, your bank account is going down. You're worried. You're scared uh, of investing money into marketing because you don't know if it's going to bring you a return. You're worried that you might not have enough money to sustain this business in the next four to six months. And you're overwhelmed trying to handle all of your leads properly. At the same time, manage your marketing campaigns, manage your budget, you know, manage all your buyers, dispositioning your deals, it's a lot for one person to handle. And, uh, you know, I don't blame you either, right? And so, you know, because of that, maybe you're inefficiently working all the time. And because you're inefficiently working, you don't have a life, you spend all time 
all the time in your business and you don't give enough time and attention to your loved ones, to doing the things that you do, to really truly living and little time you do give them is a half assed version of yourself because you're burnt out. Guys, if this is you, listen up because your life is about to change. Okay. So again, guys, I want to tell you a little bit about, I'm um, a little bit about my story. So I built a multi-million dollar real estate wholesaling firm, but after many fail and after many failed attempts to, to scale, right, we, we did it. Okay. After five years, but I was where you were. Okay. So we, we got into the business uh, in 2014. Okay. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about, uh, about our story here. Um, and so, you know, I got in and my first, my first deal, I got it after two months. Okay. And then another deal came right after that. I was thinking, man, this business is freaking awesome. This business is great. I'm going to become a millionaire by next year. All right. And then what happened? The next month came no deals, right? The, ne the month after that came no revenue still. And this is three people full-time working into this business full-time. Then a third month came, no deals, right? By this time, I'm so confused, right? Because by that time I was, you know, just three months ago, I was counting my, my millions of dollars already, right? And uh, I remember I was burnt out from cold calling one day, you know, telling my partner, man, I really hope we make it because if we do that, victory is just going to taste so freaking sweet. And uh, we would cold call for hours and hours on end. And, you know, we even trekked to our office. I remember one, one day in DC, it was this cold blustery day. We, you know, it was overcast. It was cold. It was windy. And, uh, you know, that's what we did. We were, we were super hustlers, right? We were hustling, but we went four months. Another month went by. No deals. Okay. We were always chasing the deal. We hired the wrong people or we had no systems and processes or accountability and our bank account almost hit zero three times. Right. We, we couldn't even find consistency to save our lives. Okay. Yes. We were, I was as, where you were too. Okay. Until, until I discovered guys that building a business is a science. Okay. It's not an art. It's a science and you just need the right system. Okay. Uh, and to give you a huge unfair advantage and rise above. So we started to systemize the business and we started to properly structure our company. So, you know, we, uh, we hired mentors and we started reading the right books, right? So what did that look like? Okay. We start, we strategically automated our marketing. All right. So this is, I'm kind of giving you the, the overall story of what we did that worked. Okay. We strategically automated our marketing. And because of that, we had leads coming in on autopilot. We created crystal clear accountabilities with roles and responsibilities because beforehand I was doing one thing, my partner was doing the same thing and, uh, and there was a lot of overlap. And when you have overlap, you don't have efficiency. And when you don't have efficiency, your business profitability starts to go down. All right, third, we, we put diligent processes in place. And your processes is simply the way that you do things, right? So, um, your, you want to document the way that you do things, right? That creates standardization. Okay. Once you have standardization and you have processes, now you can hire people into those processes to execute them. All right. So we learned how to hire and attract rock stars. Uh, we then implemented bulletproof training to where as soon as, you know, our guys were ramped up, went through that, went through that training, they were firing on all cylinders. We also developed a bad ass CRM. So where almost everything in the business was handled through that CRM, that central location. Okay. Uh, all of our leads, even our marketing, right? All of our KPIs was uh, handled through that CRM, which leads me into my next one. We tracked and analyzed our KPIs. Why is this important? KPIs are super important at a specific stage in your business, which I'm going to go through in a little bit, but KPIs are so important for you to track so you can understand your business. So you know what's working and you know what's not working and you can even dissect certain issues and uh, you can, you can analyze and determine where you have a hole in your business. Okay. After we had that, we strategically learned how to motivate our team, right? Which was not, uh, was not something that, you know, that is, uh, 
just innate with some people, right? And so we learned how to strategically motivate our, motivate our team. We learned great leadership principles. And, uh, and because of that, then boom, we hit seven figures in 2015. We had grown every year since, scaled to multiple markets. We were in five different thriving markets across the nation, okay? Uh, making multiple seven figures per year uh, with a team of rock stars. And because of that, we had a fully automated business that ran without us, all right? Guys, if this is you, if you want to get there, if you want to get to that multiple seven figure level or even the seven figure level and you want to have a team of rock stars, you want to have a automated business that's running profitably without you, guys, I want you, if you're ready for that, I want you to type ready in the comments below, okay? I want you to make that a personal commitment to yourselves, okay? Type ready in the freaking comments if you're ready to, uh, to learn this stuff, okay? And um, since then, guys, you know, me and my team now, again, I said that that's impacted our lives so much, right? That impacted my life so much that, you know, now I have a business and I truly uh, enjoy and get incredible fulfillment from, we've helped over a hundred real estate businesses really scale, right? Some double, some triple, in some cases, even quadruple their revenue and deal flow that they were doing um, before this. So guys, um, I'm going to make you a promise, okay? I want to promise that you'll let me give you this secret sauce, right? You'll let me give you this automated system. And, and if you do, then I promise that if you implement it, okay, this automated system will work for you too, okay? You'll move from doing one to two deals a month, or maybe you're not even doing uh, a deal a month right now, uh, you'll move from that to doing three to five deals a month, right? From three to five, you'll be well on your way to five to 10 and well on your way to finally making seven figures a year in your business, okay? Guys, we're not talking about flipping houses here just to make money. We're talking about creating the life you always dreamed of, okay? I get so many people that they, they come to me and they, you know, every time I work with a client, I have them a map out a vision for themselves. Why do they get into the business? What's your why? Why are you doing this? And so many, so many times, so often people lose sight of that as they get bogged down in the day to day and all they're thinking about is the money, right? I want you guys to realize why did you get into this business in the first place? Okay. And we're talking about creating that life that you've always dreamed of. So what does that look like? I'm talking about having more money than you ever have before, okay? I'm talking about you know traveling and, and creating the lifestyle that you really want, spending time with your loved ones without feeling guilty, okay? So this is what I'm talking about, guys. I want you to visualize yourselves in that future self now because it's really like, it might even sound corny. It's not, guys. If you like something, one of the most powerful things that you can do is visualize your future in what you're going to be doing and what your life is going to be like. This is why vision boards are super powerful, okay? So guys, as we progress through this presentation, as we progress through the content for tonight, I want you guys to hold that future self, hold that future you and all the people that you're impacting, hold that steady and firm in your minds, okay? So I'm gonna teach you everything that I can tonight, but first, I wanna set some expectations with you guys, okay? And if you guys watch, some of you have probably watched my videos before, uh, setting expectations is super, super powerful in all aspects of life, okay? In all relationships and in everything that you do, whether it's sales, whether it's uh, relationships, right? Setting expectations. I want to set expectations with you, the proper expectations. Okay. I want to get a little poll here. How many of you think that I can teach you all the ins and outs of this business? Every single detailed process, the systems, the strategies, uh, inside and out to scaling a seven figure business in 90 minutes. Type yes, type yes if you think that we can do that. Okay, cool. <laughs> now I always get one or two people that are optimistic and I appreciate that, <laughs> but, um, but it's simply impossible, okay? There's just so much I can literally talk for weeks on this business, okay? Just from everything that we've learned. 
So uh, again, I want to set some expectations. I'm going to do everything in my power to give you as much value in these 90 minutes as possible. But uh, my hope, right, is, uh, and my dream is to lead people through to seven figures. And so if you get value from this, uh, there is an opportunity to hop on a free strategy call with our team. So we can, yeah, again, just help you and give you immediate action items that you can do, listen to issues, provide you with solutions to those issues. And then if it fits, then you guys can uh, hear what we have to say as far as our programs. And uh, if it doesn't fit, totally fine. No harm, no foul. At this point, you know, we've just helped so many people that are only looking to help the right people as well. But um, I'm still, so my hope is that, you know, we can provide you with enough value tonight, but I am still going to give you my all tonight. I'm going to give you as much value as possible in these 90 minutes. Okay. So uh, I hope that's all right with you guys. And I uh, just want to set those expectations up front. All right. So let's jump in. And today we're going to be talking about the three step roadmap to seven figures. All right. So before we talk about that, what does it take to scale? Okay. It takes cash. Okay. The forget about the, the, the pipe dream that you've heard that it doesn't take, it doesn't take cash. It takes cash to scale. All right. Period. How much we're going to be get, diving into that uh, strategy. Okay. If you scale with the wrong strategy, you're going to go broke really quickly. All right. It takes systems. Okay. Uh, you need, you need systems and processes so that you have standardization and a way to do things and be efficient with those processes as well. That's where the systems come in. Lastly, you need people. You can't do this by yourself. So if you truly want to scale, especially scale to a place where you have a lot of the business delegated and you have more freedom, which is a big reason why a lot of people get into this industry, they have more freedom, then you're going to need people. All right. So cash strategy systems, people. So after years and years of being in the business and after uh, many, many insight into a lot of uh, wholesalers and, and, and investors, businesses around the country, I have truly dissected this as much as I could. And I came up with a three-step pathway to scaling. Okay. So three, that's all there is. So the first step, guys, I really want you guys to tune in now. The first step to this pathway is creating cash space. All right. So what does that mean? Before we actually dive in deep, before we actually optimize the operations, we, we really create processes within your organization and, uh, and we, we spend a lot of time working on the business as opposed to in the business. Before we do that, we need to create cash space. Okay. So giving yourself a little bit of space, a little bit of cushion so that you can comfortably work on your business. Okay. So that's the first step. And I'm going to come back to that. It's going to make a little bit more sense once we get through to the steps two and three. So step two is optimize your operations. All right. So what does that mean? Okay. And we're going to go through it in a second, but now you're really diving deep into your business and you're, uh, you're pr basically projecting to the next, for the next few years and you're creating processes around your business on a scaled level. All right. And so you're going to optimize your operations to be the absolute most efficient and effective that you can. You're going to optimize your marketing department, right? You're going to optimize your acquisitions department and your dispositions as well. Okay. So that takes months and months and months. All right. Um, but uh, that's the second step is to optimize operations. Next, the third step is to build your team. Okay. So once you optimize your operations and you document those processes, now it's time to delegate those processes to rock stars. Okay. So the third step is building your rock star team. This is the golden step where you really truly gain leverage impact. Uh, you can create a legacy. Uh, you can really uh, amplify the impact that your business has. Okay. It's my favorite step. So um, the COB, there's three steps. Okay. Cash optimize, build otherwise known as the COB method to scaling. All right. The COB method to scaling. So um, remember that guys, because we're going to be talking about that during the entire presentation. So for short cash, first step, optimize, second step, 
Third is build, okay? Build your team. All right, I want you guys to follow this roadmap. Please don't get, I'm gonna go back for a second. Please don't get, guys, don't get caught up in doing these out of order. They're in this order for a specific reason. I have dealt with way too many people at this point who have done these steps out of order. And because of that, they, uh, you know, for example, let's say they started to build their team prematurely. Okay. Maybe they didn't have the cash to do so. And boom, they went broke super quickly. Or even if they didn't optimize their operations before they built their team, now the team that is being hired can't perform to an optimal level. Okay. And because of that, they're inefficient. And again, inefficiency equals lower profitability and you'll start to go broke. Okay. Um, at the same time, I've seen people try to optimize operations before they really have that cash space and they spend way too much time trying to do that. They confuse themselves when in the first step the what you really need to be doing is just talking to as many sellers as possible and closing as many deals as you can. Okay. So I want you guys to really take this in, take notes. Okay. Write this down. All right. This is your three-step model. Okay. The CLB method to scaling this is what you want to follow. All right. So step one guys is creating cash space. Okay. So your main goal, this might sound obvious, but believe me, it's not. Okay. Uh, the, your main goal is to generate revenue, right? You need to take, this is the, this is the grit stage. You need to take massive action. Most people that are in this stage are, um, are maybe they're newer or, or they might even be seasoned people that did these out of order. Now they have to go back because now they're running low on funds. Okay. Generate revenue, massive action. Okay. Take massive freaking action. Talk to sellers, get contracts, you know, so, uh, jump on the freaking phones all the time. Like I want you guys to just be talking to as many sellers as possible, whether you're talking to them on the phone, whether you're talking to them, uh, on text, uh, whatever it is, your main goal is to just get contracts. Okay. Don't get distracted by things that don't matter, okay? Don't have the shiny object syndrome, all right? As entrepreneurs, we tend to, uh, as a group, <laughs> we tend to fall prey to this a lot. It's just the shiny, the shiny object syndrome, okay? So don't get distracted by new streams of revenue. Focus, right? You need to be, have focused efforts and, uh, and master that focused effort, all right? So be decisive, pick a system, and then go with it, all right? So... How do we create cash space? All right, I'm going to tell you the steps. So the first step is to identify your cash space target. This is where we're talking about, okay, how much do I actually need in order for me to take a step back and really build those processes into this business so that I can amplify my performance on a company level. Okay. First step is identifying that cash space target. It's three to five months of reserves. Okay. So what does that mean? All right, so these are the three major departments for your expenses, okay? And if you guys, if this is new to you, definitely write this down. I have, again, I've, I've coached a lot of people. And so believe me when I say that, there are a ton of people that this is their weak point. So um, you have three major categories of your expenses in this business, okay? First one is probably one of the most important ones, marketing, okay? How much are you spending on your lists? How much are you spending marketing to the lists? Or how much are you spending marketing in general to people? All right. Um, now, if you don't have a current business, if you're new and you haven't really spent that much on marketing, just use 3000 a month as a standard. Okay. So marketing. Okay. Second is labor. Labor is all the, the money that you're spending towards people, including yourself, including yourself. Okay. By uh, curiosity, okay, type this in the comments. I'm always super curious to know who of you here are paying yourselves through your business. Okay, I guarantee you there's probably less than 10%. Okay, so what you need to do once you start to actually, uh, once you start to actually get, oops, excuse me here, once you start to actually uh, get some revenue in, then you're gonna start paying yourself through your business, okay? It's not necessarily the beginning. But at least to identify your cash space target, you want to include yourself in here. So again, if you don't have a business, right? So this could be like your virtual assistants, um, anybody that you're paying, you know, labor, right? So if you don't have a business, use 4K as a standard, okay? 
Um, and then GNA is pretty much everything else that's not marketing, that's not labor. Okay, so office rent systems that you have to pay for. Um, you know, what we what we counted as uh, GNA was you know any travel or you know eating out, but that's not necessary, of course. Um, education on a scaled level when you start to really invest in education, uh, in seminars, and you know in courses, things like that. GNA. Okay, so everything that's not uh, basically that's not um, marketing or labor. All right. So as a general rule of thumb, on a scaled level, you want to spend less than 20% of your entire revenue on marketing, less than 30% of your entire revenue on labor and less than 20% on GNA. Okay. So um, at the beginning, let's say if you're newer, that GNA will probably be a lot lower, right? And um, you know, your marketing and labor might, might be around that number. So um, just something to keep in mind, guys, profitability does go down as you scale profitability percentage. Okay. But so if you follow this and you're right at these numbers and you're going to have a 30% profit business after paying yourself, which is a healthy business. Okay. So many people try to get caught up in the fifties and the 60%, you know, businesses and that, that does exist, but it's not, usually it's not scalable. Okay it's it's possible to be at about 30 40 percent even 50 percent sometimes on the scale level uh, if you're following what i'm teaching and doing these things really well on a lean basis so guys take two minutes and calculate uh out for yourself if you haven't already right i can always tell the uh the people the action takers you know they're already calculating out themselves their own uh monthly expenses so calculate that out for yourselves right now and uh for you to turn for you to determine what is your cash based target? Okay. So if you take two minutes, you can calculate this out for yourself right now. Well, how much do you spend on marketing? How much do you spend on labor? Um, how much do you spend on GNA? If you don't have a business or you're new, brand new, um, or if, you, if you're semi new, you've, maybe you've closed one deal or two deals or three deals, um, you can use 8,000 a month as a standard. Okay. So 8,000 a month would be 24 to 40,000 would be your cash space target. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you guys. And the goal, guys, is to get to this number as quickly as possible. Okay, why do we want three to five months of reserves? Because once we start to truly scale, once we start to optimize the operations in the next step, we're going to need a little bit of time to do that. In addition, once we start to hire people into those processes, people are not going to be immediately performing at the level that you are because you already know the business. So you need to be able to weather that storm. All right. So first step is identifying your cash based target. Okay. And that's three to five months of reserve. Second step is to market as efficiently as humanly possible. All right. So what do I mean by this? Okay. Now is not the time. If you're in this cash based stage, now is not the time to go broad on your marketing, to spend a lot of money on your marketing, right? Now is the time to pack the most punch with your marketing dollars as you can. Okay. You want to get the highest ROI possible. And uh, because you're, you're probably, you're not at this space, you're not at the stage where you have the cash. And so if you don't have the cash, we need to truly narrowly target. Okay. Narrowly target. I'm going to teach you how to do that in a second. All right. And then, so once you're done with that, I'm sorry, what, what, you know, once you're, consistently marketing very efficiently, you're going to start to get leads. Right. And, uh, and so let me ask you guys this. Okay. When you start, when you market to people, when you guys market to homeowners, right. That are, I hopefully interested in selling their properties is, or all the interested leads, are all those leads, are they ready to sell their property right then and there? Like right now, if you called everybody today, well, the answer is obviously no. Right. And so it might seem obvious, but guys, because that is, it is super important that you develop a lead management system because not everybody that you market to is going to be ready to go right now. And you cannot call those leads off that are not ready. You can't mark them off as dead. Right. And so you need that follow-up system. You need a, a CRM. All right to manage your leads and you can, so you can follow up with them. All right. So as you start to get more leads and you start to, uh, you know, you have your follow-up system, you will be uh, closing more deals. Right. And, um, you know, 
essentially the process here is you want to rinse and repeat this until you reach your cash base target. Okay, so uh, how, how can we market very efficiently? I'm gonna be showing you that in uh, a section to come and uh, talk, talk a little bit about the lead management and follow-up as well. So that's the first stage, okay? So um, the second stage, guys, once we have that cash, okay, and some of you are probably at this stage right now, right? There are a number of you that have been in the business for a little while now. And if you have been in the business or maybe even, even if you have the cash, right, if you have the, the know-how and you have the cash, um, then you can go to this stage, which is optimize operations, okay? So that's the second stage, optimize your operations, okay? So there are four components, there are four sub-steps to step two, which is optimize your operations. And the first being, okay, create automated marketing machine. Why do we wanna do that? What's the purpose of that? Okay, we, the, the whole purpose is that two things, not only that you can produce tons of leads that are qualified leads at a low cost, we wanna to continue to do that, right? But in addition, we want to eventually delegate as much as we can, the low level tasks, right? For those that are in my program, you know, uh, clients might not give them a, an entire delegation roadmap. I give them the delegation, uh, basically a delegation uh, key for who to delegate what tasks to, right? And there are specific tasks that you wanna delegate from your marketing so that it runs on autopilot. Okay, so create an automated marketing machine. Now that does take a lot of time and effort to get there and to really understand the ins and outs of you know, your lists, list management, all the marketing channels. It requires a lot of uh, that knowledge and, uh, and time and effort. So for that reason, it's in step two. Okay, but the whole purpose is to produce tons of leads. Okay, once we start to produce tons of leads, then we wanna maximize on all those leads by becoming a master closer on the phones, right? So we wanna convert as many of those leads as possible, right? But just like we saw in step one, there are going to always be leads that you know, are not ready to go right then and there. And so as opposed to a simple lead management, now it's time to really take our time and build an airtight lead management system where we have follow-up sequencers. You know, we have, uh, we have basically a, a big, uh, a lot of automations um, behind our lead management and CRM. So the system is doing the work for us uh, in addition to us doing manual follow-up too. And so we're producing tons of leads and we're converting on, the, on these leads and we're capitalizing on all the leads possible, right? Because guys, how many times has it happened? Maybe you've heard of this, maybe it's happened to you where you have a, uh, a lead, right? And then maybe you follow up with it six months later, maybe you even follow, follow up with it a year later and somebody else got that deal, right? That was a lead management error, okay? So if you have airtight lead management, then nothing is gonna fall through the cracks, all right? So lastly, as you start to produce tons of leads and you start to convert those leads and you start to capitalize on all those leads, you're going to become more efficient. And you're going to start to close more deals. As you start to close more deals, as you start to close more contracts, it's not just enough to do that. Now we have to sell the deals, but sell them at the maximum price possible. Okay. Everybody listen to me right now. Okay. When you get a contract, your goal is to sell that contract for as high as possible. And again, I know that sounds obvious, but let me, let me give it to you another way. Every dollar that you make on top extra of what you thought that you would have made by having a, an outstanding dispositions process, right, is extra money to the bottom line of your business, to the bottom line, the bottom line, okay? Not the top line, okay? People love to talk about their top line. People love to talk about how much they're bringing in as revenue, right? But it, what really matters as far as operational efficiency is your profitability, okay? I don't care if you brought in a million dollars. If you spent 900,000 bringing in that, that million dollars, then that's not an efficient business, right? And so every dollar that you get by maximizing your contracts adds to your bottom line. So let's say you did 20 deals over the course of the year. If you could add $2,000 to every single deal, simply by having a super effective uh, dispositions process, 
then you could increase your average deal size uh, by 2000 on every deal. You'd have $40,000 more simply from doing no extra marketing, uh, like literally money that you wouldn't have had for the same exact efforts, okay? So dispositions, huge, huge deal, okay? So as you start to do that, you'll start to close more deals at an increased deal level. You'll start to become more efficient and optimized. Your business will be optimized. Your marketing, your acquisitions, your dispositions will be optimized. And that's step two, all right? So once your business and your operations and your departments are optimized, now is the great time. It's the perfect time once you start to you know, create more cash to delegate and build your rockstar team, okay? So four sub steps to building your team. All right, we have to document the way that we do things, right? Create step-by-step -step processes for our operations, right? Um, why do we do this? Because we want standardization, okay? We want optimal standardization for our business. Then secondly, you're gonna hire them, okay? So now that the process is, now that your business is optimized, your processes are created, now it's time to hire rock stars. So you wanna delegate those processes to by hiring rock stars. Okay, how do we hire? There are three components to hiring, okay? The first is sourcing. Where are you actually getting your people from, okay? Because that obviously is the beginning of your applicant funnel, okay? Where are you looking for people? What is it? What are your, what are your pool of applicants, okay? And, uh, you know, in my programs, we teach you how to find the best people, where to find them, and, uh, and this whole process, right? With the next step is selection, all right? So not, it's not enough to just have a good pool of applicants. What if you pick the wrong person? So you have to have a very, very good selection process, okay? Um, so from interviewing, right, into assessments and things like that. So um, the selection process is incredibly important here as well. And then finally, you're hiring or onboarding stage. So once you bring them onto your team, uh, you want to make sure that you do that um, in the right way as well. So once they're on your team, you have to optimize them too, right? Even if you hire rock stars, which is half the battle, some would say more than half the battle, then you need to optimize them and maximize, right? So you're getting the most and extracting the most out of your team, right? How are you going to do that? With world-class business structure, okay? So first is the three-step process right here, training. As soon as you onboard them, now it's time to train them, okay? So many people, this is probably one of the biggest uh, lack, like this, this is probably one of the biggest places that I see wholesalers and investors lacking in building their business is the training aspect. They have poor training, okay? Um, and so training, okay? Then once they're trained, you need to manage them. So you have to have good management uh, principles, tactics, uh, structure to follow, okay? And then you have to have good leadership to lead the way, to lead the whole ship to, uh, to success and growth consistently, all right? In addition, okay, um, if anybody has read the book Traction here, uh, Traction is a great model to follow for building this business, okay? So you'll have accountabilities. You'll have clear roles and responsibilities for what this person is supposed to do. Uh, and then even more clear than that is data, right? KPIs, okay? So every single person that enters into your business should have uh, standardized KPIs. Uh, there's standards, like what they're expected to do Okay, and then they should be able to see how they're performing, right? And several key, it stands for key performance indicators, by the way, KPIs. Uh, so essentially just data points. So certain key data points you want to track, for example, like for your acquisition specialists, um, if you have, by the, by, by the way, like, I'm curious, does anybody here have a team? Does anybody here have uh, people that are working for them um, and specifically acquisition specialists? Um, I'll let you guys answer there, but um, uh, for, for acquisition specialists and even for yourself, because you want to track yourself as well, how you're doing, uh, if you're, you know, if you're on the phones talking with sellers, a great number, uh, a great KPIs to track is leads per contract, okay? How many leads does it take to get a contract, all right? Uh, you're obviously going to track the number of leads, 
you know, if you're doing an in-between step, which is appointments, we don't, you know, we, we lock everything up over the phone. Um, and so we do very few appointments, but uh, if you're doing appointments, then you can, you can uh, jot that out there too. So you can track leads, you know, interested leads, appointments, contracts, and then you can get ratios in from there. Okay. So I'm not going to go too deep into that, uh, but it can get very, very deep. So KPIs so that your people know how they're performing and for yourself too. So you know how you're performing. All right, by the way, standard, uh, let's say in a lower competitive market, since I know we're speaking across the nation here, in a lower competitive market, um, you, you wanna aim in between, let's say 30 and 40 leads per contract. All right, now if you're in a highly competitive market, let's say, you know, uh, Phoenix, you know, your Phoenixes, let's say your DCs, uh, your Miamis, uh, those are highly competitive markets. Um, and, you know, if you're in one of those markets, then, you know, you can even be up to 50, uh, sometimes even a little bit higher than that, up to 55. I have a client who's in, uh, uh, who's in San Francisco and uh, their leads per contract is, is astronomical. However, their average deal size is also 80,000, right? <laughs> so uh, they have their, uh, their leads per contract is over 100, which is astronomical. That's very high. However, if their average deal size is 80,000 and it takes them, let's say only uh, $8,000 to, you know, to generate those hundred leads, then that's a pretty good ROI. Okay. So these are things that we can track and talk about. Okay. So I'm not going to spend too much time on it because I definitely don't want to uh, overwhelm anybody either. Um, and so lastly is meetings. Meetings are super, that's where you tie it all together. Super important. So you're going to have meetings with your executive team. All right. And again, this is in a future scaled level. You're going to have meetings with your acquisitions team. Okay, so everybody who's on your acquisitions team to where you're going to be talking about the KPIs, you're going to be talking about the, the performance, right? You're going to be, uh, and leadership comes in very strongly as well as management in those meetings as well. All right, so this is the overall uh, process for building your team. After you're doing, after you're done that, you have an optimized team, optimized rockstar team. You want to scale your way up by ramping up marketing, more marketing strategically, okay? So guys, that's the three step COB method to scaling. Again, cash, number one. Second, optimize. Third, build, okay? Build your team. All right, so hopefully this all makes sense so far. Guys, it's simple, you know, but it's not easy and it's not, believe it or not, it's very, it's not intuitive, right? And I know that because I've, uh, I've had insight into so many businesses. And so this is why I'm super passionate about helping people build this the right way. Okay, foundationally. So each of you are at different stages and that's totally fine, all right? Um, some of you might be in the create cash space stage. Some, might, some of you might be in the optimize operations. Some of you might be in, even be in the build your team stage, but maybe you're not ready. Maybe you weren't ready to build your team. And maybe some of you uh, who answered yes might be, uh, might be thinking about that right now. Uh, and I hope you are, right? So um, uh, as I told you guys before, guys, my vision, Okay. At this point in, in my life, like I've been able to see, uh, thankfully and gratefully, a lot of amazing uh, financial success. And so uh, at this point, like money doesn't really motivate me anymore. It's, I love helping people that are willing, helping the right people take them through these steps to mastering their business. Okay. And my vision is to take every single willing real estate investor through these three steps, uh, these three steps right here all the way through to mastery, okay? So guys, hopefully that three-step pathway makes sense. I kind of gave you an overall 20,000 foot view of the roadmap that you wanna take, the pitfalls that you wanna watch out for, the things that you don't want to do, uh, putting the cart before the horse, okay? You want to scale your business in this order, okay? I scale your business in this order so that you can maximize your profitability, you can scale um, and you can do it so in a, in a stable manner. Okay. Stop guys. Stop. I know that I know we live in the, the, it's the era of social media. We live in the era of comparison. Every, everybody wants to, uh, everyone's impatient. Now everyone wants success yesterday, right? Listen to me and listen to me. Good. There is no rush. Okay. There's no rush. You're exactly where you need to be especially right now listening to this, you're exactly where you need to be, okay? And following this process will actually 
give you longevity in the business. It will give you stability, all right? And you will scale and you will scale highly profitably and very lean as well, okay? So hopefully guys, this all makes sense so far, all right? And, um, and hopefully it gives you a little bit of an idea of the overall vision of your business and where you are in your business, okay? So guys, let's talk about this real quick. And, uh, and guys, get ready to engage because I want, I want your engagement on this, okay? So uh, wholesaling is not a real estate business, okay? Now let me ask you guys, okay, what kind of business is it? What kind of business? Let, let's see in the comments. Uh, where, where am I? It's in my comments. There you go. All right. What kind of business is wholesaling, guys? It's not a real estate business. What kind of business is it? Let's see. Let's, I'm so curious, always curious to see about this. Now, these people, uh, there's a lot of people who, uh, who are cheating because you guys have seen me speak before. So, <laughs> all right. So, uh, we got marketing and sales, sales and marketing, marketing, service business. Real estate is the only product you are selling. All right. So, um, okay. People and people business, marketing and sales. All right. So, uh, you know, I can... I can definitely agree with people. Uh, I think, but pretty much every business that we're, you know, that we're anybody's in is a people business, right? So um, it's a marketing and sales business, guys. It's marketing and sales. But the funny part is that even though it's a marketing and sales business, there are so many people who really don't know what they're doing when it comes to marketing and sales, right? Uh, and man, I, I run into so many people again, because I've had insight now into my own business, right? Multiple seven figure business. And, you know, I've had insight into hundreds of other businesses and so few of them have a really solid marketing plan and marketing department. Okay. They're kind of throwing stuff against the wall and hoping that it sticks, but they're not even checking if it sticks. Right. Um, if this is you, you know, you can just do a little virtual nod with me right now. Um, but from this point forward, all that changes, okay? So regardless of what stage you guys are in, you'll need to do marketing, obviously, but your strategy will be different in each stage, all right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain that in, in a second. So let's talk marketing, okay? So there are three phases of a marketing cycle, guys. Three phases, okay? The first step being planning, okay? You have to, de you have to decide who you're gonna be marketing to and what you're going to be marketing to them, all right? Secondly is implementation. So uh, you, now that you planned your marketing plan, like you plan who you're going to market to and how you're going to market to them. Now it's time to actually take the action, right? Send out those, uh, those texts, send out RVMs, make those calls, right? Cold calls, um, send out mail if you're doing mail and then, um, you implement. Okay. At the same time with, uh, with implementation, you got to make sure that you track. Okay. So, so tracking is a part of implementation. Okay. So, uh, third is analysis. Now this is the stage that most people uh, really falter at because they don't know how to analyze their own marketing. Okay. Uh, we're not going to be talking about that today. I, I you know, there's simply uh, not enough time, but, um, and especially if you're in the cash based stage, don't need to worry too much about analysis. You still want to, you still want to track basic KPIs. Um, but you know, you don't need to have a super robust uh, tracking system um, and so we'll get to that in a second. Okay. But the first thing we're going to be talking about guys is planning. All right. So what, how do you plan? What's the process for planning? All right, guys. So the first thing that you want to do is obviously you want to acquire the list. Okay. Now maybe you'll purchase lists somewhere. Uh, maybe you'll, you know, you'll get them for free somewhere. Maybe you'll build them yourself. We're going to, uh, dive into that. So where do you acquire lists? First of all, you can get them for free. Uh, you can get them from your county, okay? Now, if you can get them from your county, I typically uh, always encourage you to do that, right? Get it, you know, why? is because you're getting data from the source, okay? When you get data from the source, it's not going to be, uh, it's not gonna be delayed, okay? And it's, it's gonna be always better data than, you know, than other data that you can get otherwise. Okay, so this is how you can do it, okay? You can do it online. That's the most efficient way to do it, right? And so we're always thinking about efficiency, especially at the beginning stages of this business. You're thinking about efficiency all the time. So, you know, do an online search, Google your, your, your county, 
and recorder of deeds. You can Google your county, then Office of Tax and Revenue. You know, so here in Tampa, for example, I would say, you know, uh, Hillsborough County uh, tax collector, and then that's where I can get um, tax delinquents. Okay, and um, you can. If you, if you can't find it there, right? I want you guys to, to really take action in finding these. But if you can't find them there, then you, know, you can uh, call, right? You can call different departments uh, in, in the government and you know, chances are you're going to, if you don't get the right place, then they will refer you to the right place, okay? So again, guys, this stage is all about taking massive action, okay? Um, and then you can use FOIA, right? So FOIA is the Freedom of Information Act to get data from your county. All right, and you can also go in person. That's the least, obviously the least efficient because it requires a lot of your time. Uh, you can potentially go to your courthouse or um, be, any other um, uh, branches of the government that's gonna give you your lists, okay? Um, now, you also have third-party sources. Okay, so in, uh, in your third-party sources, uh, here, let me go next. We have examples are, Foreclosures daily, right? So foreclosures daily are great. Um, now, third-party sources are great. The benefits of getting third-party sources is it's immediate. So if you're paying for data, you don't have to go through. Let me let me back up for a second. So here in the county, you can get good data, but it, I'm, I'm not going to lie, it does take a little bit of a process to uh, to grab the data. Sometimes it's it's ugly data, it's not clean, and uh, and sometimes it takes a while. And it does take more efforts. And so a lot of times it's a lot more efficient to just buy it from third party sources. All right, so Foreclosures Daily is a great, great tool. Okay, um, you can get all these different types and we, we use them there. We've closed many deals from Foreclosures Daily. And um, you know, I'm not just saying that because I'm on here, but they're, they're awesome, right? Um, and they're updated, this is huge guys. They're updated weekly and sometimes even daily, right? And so uh, that was the main reason why I never wanted to, uh, to use any third-party sources because they weren't updated as often, okay? So if we had a code violation or if we had a probate, sometimes some of these other third-party sources like, you know, Rebo Gateway, for example, um, they would take too long to update. And so we wouldn't have the freshest data. So you guys want to be first to the lead, Okay, you wanna be first to that lead when it comes to marketing because it's just it's simply just the rule of numbers and the rule of, of sales, right? Uh, after a certain amount of times of, of, of somebody, you know, interested in, in selling their homes, in some cases you'll get it on the first go, they're just, you know, they're kind of tired of the whole process. And so you wanna be one of the first people there and you don't wanna be the last person there, you wanna be one of the first people there so that you can close that deal, okay? Um, in addition, they're farming for real estate which is huge for, uh, for us um, because again, you know, uh, and I think Tanji was actually alluding to this earlier. Um, they, uh, they basically scrub out uh, like any inheritances. I'm sorry, any, uh, they basically scrub out like, for example, divorces and things like that. Uh, people that are not, don't, don't even have any real estate uh, attached to that specific list. So that's huge, okay? And in general, you want to get where other investors are not, okay? So we have what's called a secret absentee list. And so um, what that is, is like it's an owner-occupied list, okay? And then when you skip trace it, it comes back as an absentee. That was consistently one of our highest lists, okay? If you don't know what skip tracing is, if you're, you're brand new like that, we're going to be explaining that in just a second here. Um, also, any county records with PDFs. Um, again, these are typically hard to, uh, hard to get, and so a lot of other investors aren't getting them. Like if you have messy data, if you have the time and the resources to be able to, um, to do that, then you know, it's a great way to, uh, you know, to get where other investors are not. Uh, I'll tell you a little story here. Um, well, let me, let, me, let me basically tell you about the last point. So second is temp skip tracing. So if you guys are skip tracing, right? And everyone here should be skip tracing. You, sh you need to spend the money on skip tracing because it's going to give you the best data depending on where you get it from, right? I'm going to show you the, probably the best place to get it for the cheapest uh, here in a second. So, but what second attempt skip tracing is, is if you send a, a list of 10,000 people to get skip traced, okay? Um, and for those of you who don't know, skip tracing is getting the phone numbers and updated addresses for your list, okay? So, 
if you get that back, let's say you send a list of 10,000, you get, you know, 9,000 back, or let's say you get 8,000 back, you want to second attempt skip trace those other 2,000 that didn't come back. Because if they're not hitting on your, uh, on your skip tracer, whatever platform you're using, chances are they're not hitting for other uh, investors that are targeting that list and maybe using the same script tracer as well. So you want to maximize your chances by getting those phone numbers that other people are not getting and they're not second attempting. Okay. So that's what second attempt skip tracing is. All right. So in addition to that, um, kind of like I was saying before, skip tracing is, uh, is essentially when you, you know, when you get those uh, updated phone numbers and addresses, um, and, oh yeah, this is what I was going to, I was going to tell you a little story. Okay. So getting where other investors aren't. All right. So let me tell you, let me tell you a little story. So back in, I believe it was the end of 2015, uh, it could have been 2016. <clears throat> we, uh, we were doing cold calling. All right. There was not a lot of people doing cold calling on a mass scale. All right. So we, in addition to that, we were also targeting the specific zoning criteria was targeting the specific zoning list uh and you know we ended up talking to a uh, a guy that owned a four unit and in that four unit it was in dc and uh, it could be converted to condos and so there was a big value play there you know and when we got on the phone with him you know one of our acquisition managers was on the phone with them when we got on the phone with them we said uh we went through our script right of course and then uh, the seller said this, right? It was a, kind of an older seller, probably around 60 or so. And he said, and I have a stack of mail on my desk. Okay. I have a stack of mail on my desk. Nobody's ever called me. Like I've never received a call before um, about specifically about this, right? About the property. And so at that time, you know, we were, we were dialing and dialing and dialing because um, apparently there were still people that haven't been called, right? And cold calling wasn't as big as it was now. And so um, the point is get what other investors are not getting. All right. So, um, you know, we ended up contracting that property for 300,000 and we ended up selling it. Uh, that was a, that was the biggest deal that I've, I've ever done. We ended up selling that deal for 600,000. Okay. <laughs> so it was a pretty good day for us. And if, we, but if we hadn't been doing what other people weren't doing, we wouldn't have gotten that deal and we would have been just another one of those postcards on his desk. All right, so third party sources, guys. Third, build the lists yourself, okay? So this is the third option um, in how to build or how to acquire lists, all right? And um, building lists yourself, these are examples of ways that you can do it, driving for dollars, right? Um, you can do bandit signs uh, that will you know, get you leads, uh, door knocking, you know, handwritten signs on the door, Craigslist, uh, co-wholesaling, you know, these are less, typically a little bit less efficient. Okay. So that's why this is last on my list. But if you're really on a budget, you know, this is a good way to get started. Okay. Now a lot of people get started on driving for dollars. Um, you know, we used to do that a lot too. So, and even if you're scaled, having a driving for dollar operation going for you will always be a great way to uh, add to your stacked list as well and target dilapidated properties. So that's the first step, guys, of the planning process is acquiring your lists, okay? Second step is skip tracing your lists, okay? So um, as I told you before, I think this is probably the best uh, skip tracing on the market. The reason is, is because it pulls from, uh, I think, I believe it's four, but I know that they're, they're adding another one soon. I just talked to the owner. Um, five data sources, okay? And it's the highest in the industry, okay? And so that's why they can, return such a high number. Um, so they have average, super high average of 95% return. And uh, if you guys are skip tracing, you can use my coupon code. It's uh, elevate. Okay. And uh, it's 18 cents per search and that's no minimum. Okay. And it's the, I believe it's the lowest cost in the industry for the quality. Okay. So um, second step is skip tracing list. Now this is important. If you're in the cash space stage, you want to wait until step four to actually skip trace. And I'm going to show you why. Uh, step four of this whole planning process. So, and you'll, it'll make sense. So third, you're going to house the lists, right? You want to house the list somewhere, okay? Now we used to house the lists in 
uh, in just uh, you know Windows Explorer, you know, right there on our on our desktop, and um, it would drive us. It would drive me right because I was uh, I was in charge of the marketing. It would drive me crazy because there was all these lists everywhere, and it was it was so hard to manage. Okay, as you start to scale and get more lists, it's going to be more and more of a headache. Okay, so we use PLM stands for Property List Manager. Okay, it's basically an online database now. No longer do you have to handle, you know, tens of, you know, different Excel sheets, right? Which drove us crazy back in the day. And now software exists. That makes your life easier, okay? So um, I believe it is uh, $99 a month, and I'm going to show you that in a second. But I have a, I have a discount code for that for you guys too. So, um, and then the great part about PLM is you can stack your lists, all right, so for those of you who don't know what stacking is, essentially you can see who is on multiple pain points. So let's say you have a probate list, you have an evictions list, you have a vacant list, you have a, an absentee list, right? You have a pre foreclosures list. You can see who's on multiple pain points. All right, so we did a, we, I've done multiple case studies with this before during which, you know, 60 to 70 to even 80% of their deals um, come from a stacked list, okay? So um, that is probably list manager. Okay, I have a coupon code there. Uh, Joe Dillon is the coupon code and you get 10% off every month, I believe. I think I, I think I talked to the owner about this, but I believe I'm the, I'm the only person that has that. So that's pretty cool. So you get 10% off every single month. All right, so um, then, the, then the next step, guys, is to create your marketing plan. Before I talk about this, I wanna talk about if you're in the cash base stage, you're gonna to wait to skip trace your lists until step four. And you're actually going to stack your lists before you skip trace them. Why? Because you know, you're in the stage that you need to be very efficient with your marketing. So skip tracing is expensive. Yes, to skip trace, let's say 10,000 records, it's gonna be $1,800, okay? Um, now, if you basically, you get, a, uh, get all these lists and if you stack them, you can skip trace your stacked lists to where you're skip tracing maybe your your hottest niche lists let's say maybe pre foreclosures and uh maybe you have a uh maybe a tax delinquent list works really well in your market right different lists work better in different markets or maybe you have a, a vacant list or a secret absentee list that you want to stack uh, i'm sorry that you want to skip okay so if that is the case then you want to stack your lists first and then you want to skip trace it after so that you're not skip tracing all 10,000. You may, maybe you skip trace 2,000, all right? Or maybe 3,000, okay? So in that way, you're gonna be very targeted and ideally targeting the most motivated people first, okay? That's the implementation strategy. That's the marketing strategy for Create Cash Space, all right? So um, hopefully that makes sense, guys. So the fifth thing is creating your marketing plan, all right? So, um, you know, now that you have all of your lists, okay, maybe now that they're skip traced, okay, you have them uh, and they're being housed in PLM and you know which ones are stacked, now it's time to create your marketing plan, okay? Now, this is hugely different when it comes to cash space versus optimized operations. Your optimized operations people, you guys are going to, you know, you guys can and should create a very sophisticated marketing plan, which I'm going to show you guys here in a second. Um, but, you know, you want to basically create a plan, okay, for the month. I do this every single month um, for the month ahead, okay? So I will know who I'm gonna market to two weeks before the month starts, okay? So um, create your marketing plan, okay? Sixth, refresh and update your lists. This is huge, all right? It's not enough to buy, to buy a list or acquire your lists and then, uh, and then, you know, leave them be for six months, okay? You have to refresh, especially if you're targeting these niche lists, like pre-foreclosures, probates, you wanna refresh them as often as you possibly can. Why? Because you wanna be the first to that lead, all right? So refresh and update your lists and then stay consistent, okay? If you do this, I promise you, your marketing process will be very efficient, all right? So that's the planning stage. Now I wanna talk about the implementation, okay? So the whole implementation of everything. So what is the, uh, what's the implementation strategy, which I was telling you guys about earlier, for the cash-based stage, okay? You're gonna be very narrow, you're gonna be super targeted, okay? And you're gonna aim for low cost and efficient types of marketing, okay? So again, 
Skip tracing your stacked lists, skip tracing your, uh, your hotter niche lists and only marketing to those people, all right? And then when you market to them, you're gonna use one to two channels max. I recommend starting with one if you haven't started yet. Start with one marketing channel. Uh, SMS is probably the best, most efficient way to market. Obviously check with your state regulations just to make sure that it's above board. Um, and if it is, then you know use that to market, okay? But one or two marketing channels max. Your implementation strategy, once you create your cash and you want to start optimizing your operations, is you want to start expanding your implementation strategy. So you're still going to hit your hotter niche lists and your stack lists, but instead of one or two channels, you can hit them from all angles. In addition, right, you want to hit your bigger, broader lists, and you still want to hit those from low cost marketing. So SMS, for example, is you know a standard uh, industry standard is two cents per drop, right? RVM two cents per drop. Again, check with your state regulations just to make sure that you're above board, but you know, your bigger, broader lists, you can hit from your, from those. And then if you have high cost marketing, you can still do that, but cycle it. Okay. I teach the concept of what I've coined the term cycling. So marketing market cycling, right? List cycling. You want to cycle your, not two things. You want to cycle your the marketing channels. Okay. And then you also want to cycle your lists. So what I mean by that is let's say you have a big owner occupied list or, or an absentee list and um, mail is one of your marketing channels. Now it's going to be expensive to mail that every month. Okay. But what you can, what you can do is you can target that bigger, broader list using a lower cost marketing strategy like RVMs or SMS. And then you can s still use your high cost marketing channel but you can do them every three months. You don't have to do it every month so that you can stay in front of their faces consistently, right? And still maximize uh, your marketing dollars. So um, I give all of, my, uh, all of my clients, all of my clients that are in that mastery optimized operation stage, I give them a, my very sophisticated Excel program that I use and that I developed myself um, to track and plan the implementation strategy Per month. Okay. So guys, those are three phases of the marketing cycle. Okay. So planning implementation. And then, like I said, we don't have time to go into analysis today, although I can get really, really deep on that. We're just scratching the surface of all these. I just want you guys to be aware of the overall process, the, the three-step um, method to scaling your business and also the three phases of your marketing cycle. Guys, if you if you, if you uh, have this process, the planning, the implementation, the analysis, uh, you're going to document how you do this. And then what you can do is you can delegate it to a VA if you're in that optimized operation stage, okay? This will skyrocket your business and keep it consistent, all right? So the goal is to automate that marketing machine, okay? And I kind of just told you a little bit, a broad 20,000 foot view of how to automate that marketing machine. Okay. And uh, if you're in that optimized operation stage, you can get very sophisticated to keep your marketing cost down while keeping the same, if not higher effectiveness and uh, more revenue and more profit for your business. All right. So again, guys, that COB method to scaling. Okay. The first step is create cash space. The second step is optimize your operations. And the third step being build your team. Okay. So on the third step, building your team, uh, we're not gonna go through the entire process for that, but I will show you what the, seven, what the structure of a seven-figure team looks like, okay? So this is how, uh, how it looks like on a scaled level. All right, you have your visionary, your integrator. Those might be the same person um, for you for a while. Those can even be the same person for a, for a long time. Um, but basically the visionary is leading the business with the vision integrator is uh, managing all the operations and making the business super efficient. Okay. And profitable. All right. Executive assistant, kind of the right hand person to the integrator. And then you have your departments. You have the director of marketing over here. All right. Uh, which is responsible for leading the marketing, big marketing decisions. Okay. What markets are we going into? What neighborhoods are we targeting? All right. Big marketing decisions. Okay. Marketing manager under that, uh, which is essentially just responsible for execution. Okay. And uh, then the marketing assistant, which is um, all the list management, all the Excel stuff, basically all the admin, um, 
uh, data entry and, uh, and, and all of the management on that side, okay? So um, this is on a scaled level. The important thing to know about, to note about this is, you know, there can be more than one person in multiple seats, right? So if you're looking at this, right, uh, let me finish going through this actually. So the next step after marketing is the, the acquisitions, okay? So the director of acquisitions is leading the acquisition specialists, the lead managers, the cold callers, okay? And all these people are here to, uh, to get contracts um, for uh, buying people's homes, right? So then the director of transactions, once we get the contract, is responsible for the disposition. Okay, what, what are we gonna do with this property? How much are we gonna sell it for? And the overall direction, okay? Transaction coordinator, once the deal comes in, once the contract comes in, is responsible for uh, filing the contract, talking to the homeowner, making sure everything is, uh, we have all of our, our I's dotted and our T's crossed, uh, being the main point of contact to our, uh, our title company, and just ensuring that the deal moves along, okay? We have our property runner, which is essentially just the person at the property taking pictures and doing the showing. Then we have our dispo agent, which is solely responsible for selling the deal. All right, dispositions assistant. Uh, again, uh, just the admin side of this, dispositions assistant, uh, that is um, essentially responsible for creating email, uh, creating email templates, um, and all of that. So um, that is pretty much all of the operations. And then we have director of finance, bookkeeper, uh, human resources, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So guys, again, that is the three-step method, guys, to scaling your business, creating cash space, optimizing your operations, building your team. Okay. So can you guys see a little bit clearer on, uh, on how you can use this pathway to scale your business. I hope you guys can, can definitely see a lot clearer now on how this works and how you can take your business from where it currently is to a systemized machine that pumps out six figures a month without you, okay? So I wanna ask you guys this, right? And you, know, you guys can't talk right now, but I want to uh, theoretically ask you guys this. How many of you guys actually believe and how many of you guys actually want to move from one to two deals a month to 10 deals a month plus, okay? Actually, just write it in the comments. How many of you are ready to do that? How many of you really want and believe that you can uh, do that? Just say yes in the comments and make that declaration to yourself that you can scale your business. You have the roadmap. You understand, you, can, you believe in your abilities and yourself to do so. One to two deals a month to 10 deals a month plus. Love it, love it, love it. All right, keep it coming, guys. I love it. I love that you guys are uh, engaging and ready. And so how many of you guys would want to do that sooner rather than later? I assume most of you, right? Because again, life is short, guys. We have to start taking action now. So I've carefully, guys, you know, as I was saying before, I have carefully designed proprietary programs to help you get through each of these stages as quickly as humanly possible, okay? And, uh, you know, I want to tell you about them. I don't want you guys to be mad at me for not at least telling you about them. And so again, guys, I love to work with people that want to scale, that really, really are excited. They're hungry. They're motivated. Uh, these are the type of people that get the best results. Okay. And so I want to tell you guys, uh, if I may, I want you guys to allow me to tell you guys just about these programs. If any of them intrigues you, definitely reach out to us. Uh, there'll be a way to schedule a, a free strategy call or with us after this. But um, again, if not, totally fine. No harm, no foul. Uh, we definitely want to work with people that want to work with us. So um, the first program is the Cash Space Accelerator program, okay? It's a 90-day coaching program. It's designed to help you hit that cash space target in 90 days or less, okay? So that target that you guys set out for yourselves at the beginning of this presentation, it's designed to help you hit that cash space target in 90 days or less, okay? It's what it includes, step-by-step -step video training, all right. It is weekly coaching calls. There's a private accountability group. You know, that's one of the, the things that I'm most proud about is the tribe, the amazing tribe that we've been able to create through, uh, through our program and our vision. Uh, and you get direct access to our team uh, in our pockets, right? Via, via Voxer, uh, you get direct access to our cell phones. And uh, in addition, we give you a, we set up a CRM for you 
okay? Which has, which has everything that you need to focus on right now, okay? There are so many CRMs out there that, that are basically a Ferrari when you don't even know how to drive a Honda yet. And so, you know, we're teaching you and we give you, set it up for you and drop it in your system, everything that you need. Um, in addition, all the necessary documents, uh, that you could ever need for, uh, for this business to create that cash space target, to hit that cash space target, okay? Uh, secondly, guys, um, if you're past that cash space stage and you're in the optimized operations, I have my mastery program. Now, this mastery program is designed to help you get from one to three deals a month to five to 10 deals a month. Uh, and it's really focusing on those step two and step three, right? Optimizing your operations and building your team. Okay, so again, it's, it's, very, very carefully designed to make sure that you know how and help you build that automated marketing machine, becoming a master closer on the phones, implementing that airtight lead management, developing an outstanding disposition process so that you can literally make hundreds of thousands more than you were before. Okay. And that's, you know, step two, which is the, you know, uh, the optimized operations. Then also this covers step three, which is building your team. Okay, uh, creating the step-by-step -step processes for your operations, delegating those processes and teaching you the hiring method, okay, which is the gold and then optimizing your team with the world-class structure. All right, so um, what it comes with guys is just the, you know, an on-demand, complete mastery on-demand video training. Uh, so you can access that 24 seven, whenever you want. Uh, our seven figure resource vault, which has all the, the scripts, the documents, the, the, the process maps, the big level stuff, right? That the cash base doesn't have um, to completely delegate your business. Uh, one hour uh, group call, there's two calls a week. There's one hour that's instructional and, and another one that is uh, coaching. So open format, where you come to the call with questions, we're very attentive. And I pride ourselves on our, our real care of our clients to really understand where they are and provide them with the absolute most uh, effective advice and consultation that we can, okay? In addition, uh, you guys get access to our private mastery Facebook group, which is amazing high level individuals uh, from around the country. I would say most people in this stage are doing anywhere from three to five deals a month. Um, and, you know, they've, they've really, this program has really helped them scale that maybe even double or triple that. Um, and, you know, in addition to that, we have accountability partnerships. So I place you in a partner in a partnership where you guys can hold each other accountable. Okay. Um, as you progress through the program. In addition, you get one-on-one -on -one boxer access to me directly, okay? And so whenever you have a question, you can just literally hit me up from your cell phone to my cell phone. In addition, you get that, you know, quote unquote Ferrari CRM with all the automations, with all the follow-up sequences, uh, with all the KPIs already tracked for you, with all the marketing already within the CRM, okay? So um, just, I'm sure some of you are, curious if those of you if those of you who are curious about the programs will this actually work right because there's a lot of people selling pipe dreams there's a lot of freaking people selling crap okay i have i stand behind our material and our program so much okay that i know if you are the right person and you're ready to take action this is going to work for you okay so let me tell you about a few uh, stories here uh gabby she's in richmond uh, we started coaching uh, just a year ago, one, one year ago uh, last month. And she was doing a one deal every three months as a very, very, very side part-time job um, because she had a full-time job. And she was able to quit her job within three months. And she's now doing six to eight deals. And she has a team of five people that are doing all the operations for her in one short year. Okay. And she's almost at that seven-figure level. She's doing about 70K a month right now. Seven-figure level is uh, 80K a month. And um, she is absolutely freaking crushing it and her uh, life has changed. And that's her, that's us together at our first event. Corey, uh, Gary, my man, he's out in Phoenix. Uh, he's literally 5X his business. Um, he had a full-time job and he was, you know, he, now he's doing 10 deals a month. His last three months have all been six-figure months, okay? Um, and, you know, we're, <laughs> this is a good friend of mine too because he's a great guy. But um, he has absolutely taken this and ran with it. Um, Joe and Lisa Ebanks here in Tampa. I started coaching them in November uh, and they did their entire year's worth of, uh, of deals uh, in, you know, less than half a year, okay, um, by coming to uh, our program and uh, 
to really implementing everything, okay? So, uh, and that's us right there. And lastly, guys, you know, I have so many of these, right? So many of these testimonials also have Andrew and Dan out in DC. And I started coaching them in November and uh, they basically doubled their business. They're realtors actually, but they were adding wholesaling into their, to, into their side. And so uh, they were able to double their business and they're still working with me today. All those four people are still working with me today. And uh, that's us right there. I really like to get super intimate with my, with my clients, guys, you know, and I have, I have stories for days, guys, you know, I'm, I'm not going to bore you with these, but you know, for example, like thanks to Mr. Joe, his pre-recorded RVM voice drop, which I actually give all of my clients close to 20 K yesterday, another 60 K closing next Friday, all virtual, never seen the properties, didn't close any deals uh, last month due to the acquisition, blah, 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 back on the phone, setting the tone for October, right? So just want to give a thanks to Joe Dillon. You had us tweak our SMS process from Lisa. Uh, guys, have picked up six contracts since Monday. Now, this was on Thursday, I believe. It was a Thursday or a Wednesday. And they had done six contracts in like three days, okay? And, uh, you know, they get a lot. This is all in our private groups here on Facebook. Uh, and, you know, they all get a lot of love and they share in addition to you getting coaching from us, you also get coaching from, or really uh, masterminding and, um, and help from the amazing community that's there too. Mike Rodriguez out here in Tampa, first week back in the business, back to marketing, first deal put under contract so far this week, locked up my first five figure wholesale deal. System and processes makes it easy to track and structure the business the right way. Stacking my list on PLM helped me to focus the most time and effort, okay? Um, you're the man, thanks for the information, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, another one, you know, this guy was Emil, one of my, he's one of our, uh, one of our top performers as a, as a uh, client, but he was, uh, flipping. He did about, you know, 70 flips since 2016. So new to wholesaling. And, um, he was able to put two deals under contract in the last seven days when he just started. And, uh, he's now scaled out too, which is amazing. Um, Muhammad Ajaj down in Houston, you know, he had a, basically a $200,000 day. <laughs> where, uh, where he netted a, a 90k on a deal, you know he he uh, netted 53 again on another deal on 17, and so uh, this was I think you know a couple months into the program, you know five contract this week right again in our mastery group, guys there's a million stories I can literally go on for uh, days and days and days about this but um you know I I won't bore you with that but just want to let you know it's freaking possible and it's real guys. It's real. And that's this, you know, look at the energy that that's here in the group, right? Because all these people uh, are truly, truly excited about growth. They're excited about scaling and, uh, and we all they're there to help each other as well. Okay. So um, I'm going to stop talking now, but before I stop talking guys, as I said, you know, uh, I would love to help the right people scale. Okay. We'd love to help the right people. So uh, what I would like to do is for anybody that is interested, uh, we can have a free strategy call and we'll help you determine, uh, it's actually 60 minutes. So sorry, this is, uh, we're gonna give you a little bit more time actually. So we'll help you determine what stage you're in, okay? In addition, we're gonna help you sort through any issues that you're having, right? And we're gonna give you exact strategies that you can implement right now, today, okay? Right after getting off of that strategy call and we'll give you a custom action plan, all right? Now, um, I'll, again, I wanna be very direct and upfront with you guys. We really want to help people scale. So we will discuss if any programs would be a good fit. Now, if they're not a good fit again, like I said, it's totally fine. You know, we're at a place where we don't, we don't even wanna work with people that are not ready, that are not committed, that are not ready to take action. Um, and so, you know, but guys, if you schedule a call tonight before midnight, okay? There's a couple bonuses that I want to tell you guys about. So you're going to get our best list document simply from scheduling a call, right? Not even from joining a program, uh, just, from, just for scheduling the call and actually going on that call. You'll get these bonuses after you uh, complete that call, right? You get our best list documents, so the best list that work for us. Okay, in addition, you're going to get our, uh, our purchase contract. We drafted up with uh, our attorney and, um, you know, it took us uh, a lot, a lot, of learning to decide and know what to include and what not to include in our purchase contract. And then lastly, uh, this is a huge bonus. If you do decide that it's, this is something that is right for you, if you do decide that it's a good fit for, your, uh, for you and your business right now, 
Uh, again, if it's not, then I wouldn't even want you to. And we'll probably tell you, you know, we probably, we turn away more people than we actually accept. But if you do decide that it's a right fit for you, you're going to get our seven figure blueprint uh, access, right? A free ticket to our seven figure blueprint, which is a $5,000 value. I literally uh, get, uh, I literally sell those tickets for $5,000 guys. So our next one is in February here in Tampa. Super excited about that. Um, and that is going to give it to you free as long as you schedule that call tonight. Okay. But I, I want to be very clear about this. Okay. If you're not willing to take action. Okay. If you're, let's say brand new to real estate, you've never marketed before. You haven't talked to any sellers. I'm sorry, but this is not for you. If you're not coachable and you think you know it all, if this is not for you guys, if you're in this for the Lambos and the watches and, and that whole lifestyle and that, that, that big ego trip that a lot of people are into in this real estate industry, then to be perfectly honest, this is not for you. This is not the place for you. Um, so please don't apply. Okay. However, on the other hand, if you're hungry and you're motivated for growth, if you're coachable and you're ready to listen and implement, if you're ready to take massive freaking action in your business and in your life, and you have a meaningful vision and a purpose for your life and your business, we would love to have you and you would fit in greatly. Okay. So if that's you, please apply guys. All right. So, um, you can schedule that free call here. Okay. And Tanji, I believe that, uh, Tanji, I believe she's going to put that link as well. Uh, now that, uh, again, that offer, I want to put it back up here, guys. This expires tonight at midnight. Okay. So you get the best list document for free. You get the purchase contract for free. You get the seven figure blueprint for free. If you end up uh, joining one of our amazing programs uh, and you get all that for free. If you sign up by midnight tonight, all you have to do is literally just schedule a call. Okay. And uh, you know, we're not in, we're not into high pressure sales. So, you know, we have enough people actually coming to us. Like I said, we have, we have to push away people because of the people that want to work with us. Okay. Uh, we have to push away people that do not fit our culture, right? Which you guys should be doing in your business as well. And so, um, you know, go ahead and schedule that free call. Okay. Schedule it at this, this link here. Tanja is going to put that link there in the comments and hope to talk with you guys soon. You guys will be scheduling and talking to uh, someone from one of my, uh, someone from our team. Uh, they're all super high level uh, people from our team that can answer the call for you and talk to you about your business. And every, you know, they all have also scaled their business to uh, either the seven figure level or the uh, high six figure level. Okay. So uh, you're going to be in great hands there. So definitely go to this link guys to schedule that free call. All right. And then otherwise, um, guys, this is how you can reach me. All right. Again, my name is Joe Dillon. That's my email right there. Definitely follow me on Instagram, guys. I give a ton of free content all the time on my Instagram and my Facebook. And, uh, you know, this is where we can open up the uh, Q&A. So for those of you that, that stayed on, super appreciate you guys being on here with me. Uh, and, yeah, we can open that up now. So uh, there you go, Tan Tanji. Hey, so all right, um, all right. I went ahead and put it in the comment under somebody else's question. Okay. Um, so I wasn't sure how to do it just by my own. So, but everybody, can you go back to that slide so they can actually take a picture of it really quick? Oh, you're talking about the link? Yeah, the link. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So yeah, you guys can, you know, take a picture, but to be honest, if you're on your computer, even if, if you're on your phone, just like go to the, go to the freaking link right now. Like don't. Well, it won't let you click on it, Joe. Uh, no, no. What I mean is just like type it into, you know, your, your browser, just type it into your, your, your phone. Uh, or you can take a picture too. Uh, if you want to, you know, uh, really listen to uh, the Q and A. So we'll give you guys a, a minute to do that. Um, so we've got a couple of things coming in. You, you've answered a lot of questions during your presentation that people were asking. Cool. Um, one, one person was asking, what is the secret absentee? All right. So, um, so the secret absentee, is uh, I'm gonna leave this on here for like another minute or two, and then I'll I'll take it down for my uh, for my video. So the secret absentee list uh, again is let's say you buy an owner occupied list, okay? So um, it is it is a little bit of a ballsy list because it's more expensive, and that's 
the reason why not a lot of people are marketing to it, but it's an owner occupied list that when you skip trace in the owner occupied list, right? Let's say in an owner occupied list, your property address will be the same as your mailing address. But if you skip trace it and it comes back and your property address is different than your mailing address, they have a different mailing address, then uh, we have a little bit more of an updated file, right? So they're actually not owner occupied. So while people might be mailing the owner occupied uh, property, um, that's a great list to mail. You know, it usually comes back maybe five to 10% of that owner occupied list after skip tracing will actually be absentee. So that's the secret absentee list. Okay, so what you're saying is, is you get it to where they're owner occupied, but you want the property address not to match the mailing address. Is that correct? Yeah, so, but the only way to do that is to like, for example, you know, there are list providers uh, that give you just an owner, owner occupied list, right? Mm -hmm. And um, if you skip trace, this is more of a, uh, definitely something to target if you're in the optimized operation stage, because it's like an additional expensive uh, marketing channel, but it will still return uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of really good deals, right? So um, again, you, you buy an owner occupied list or you, or you acquire it somehow. Let's say you have a list of 10,000, right? Or let's, let's say, let's, let's do easy numbers. Let's say you have a list of 1,000 that uh, you skip trace that 1,000 list of owner occupieds and then a hundred of those come back with different mailing addresses. So it turns out that they're not owner occupied. They're actually in absentee right? But maybe on the tax record, maybe in, uh, in whatever data provider you're, you're getting it from, it says that they're owner occupied, but they're actually an absentee. You can market to that hundred. Okay? okay. And that's the secret absentee. So you buy the whole list, but you only mark to the ones that have it. Correct. Which is, well, you don't have to only market to them. You, you know, you'll still market to the other 900, not, you know, 900, let's say, okay. but do it from a low cost marketing channel. Okay. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's why I say it's a, it's a ballsy list. <laughs> So another question is at what point in your follow-up process system do autom does automation kick in and when does delegated like human follow-up get removed? Oh, that's a great question. All right. So here, I'm going to take this down now so you guys can see me. And the question is aimed at doing a long-term follow-up, of course. Okay, cool. All right. So the question is uh, at what point does a human take over from, uh, from the system? right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, essentially you're always going to have human follow-up. Okay. Always going to, you're always going to want that, uh, that human touch, right? Because nothing is going to replace, let's say I've had so many deals that have come in from months and months and sometimes even like years of follow-up, but literally just touching base. Right. And you're just, um, you know, depending on the quality, depending on the temperature of the lead, so let's say it's uh, it's a cold lead, then instead of, you know, they're not interested in selling now, but they weren't mean to you and they weren't aggravated, um, you know, you might set a follow-up for three months or four months, right? They might tell you to follow up with them in six months or eight months. Standard rule of thumb, I always half anything that they tell you, right? So if they say, call me back in five months, I'll call them back in two or three right? And uh, that way we're staying on top of it. So you're always going to have that. It's just going to be an additional uh, piece. Okay. I actually was asking it the other way. Um, basically said, when is the follow-up from the human get removed? But it's, you kind of answered it anyways, because you're- Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, you're always, so, okay. So, so here it is, right? So there are different temperatures for your lead, right? There's, they can be hot leads, right? That you want to stay on top of and, you know, obviously want to, um, prioritize those and those are going to be in front of your face for the next, you know, three weeks, four weeks, right? Hot leads shouldn't really be hot leads for more than two months, right? Otherwise they're not really hot. Um, then you'll have me, you know, warm leads, which maybe they're, they're a little bit further in price. Uh, maybe they're 40, $50,000 off on price. Maybe they're ready to sell in three months or six months. So those are, those could be uh, warm potentially if they have a decent, uh, motivation. And then, you know, there's cold leads. So if you had to delegate any one of those cold, you know, any one of those, you know, leads, you can, at, uh, when you're starting to scale and, and let's say if you're really looking to save efficiency, right, you can, um, what you can do is you can have the system follow up on those cold leads for you. In addition, if you have somebody 
working for you, uh, or if you're the one doing all the acquisitions yourself, you can train a VA, right? I usually don't like my VAs doing any type of high level or high skilled conversation and communication, but you can hire a VA to do cold lead follow-up just to gauge temperature, just to see if they have uh, changed their mind or if anything's changed in their situation, right? A good thing that I love to say when, uh, when dealing with people that, um, uh, that have gone cold or people that you haven't talked to in a while is you can say, hey, you know, would love to give you an updated offer on your home, an updated cash offer on your home. Uh, that usually gets them to, to ring back and so. So that's great, Joe, I appreciate that. Um, another thing is, is there's a virtual assistant company called Rolu Business Solutions, it's with Robin Crawley. I recommend her a lot uh, because she called for my client one day and she literally got him three probate appointments in an hour. She's oh wow, in an hour? Yeah, one hour. That's call. fantastic, yeah. We got him three appointments in an hour and it's uh, Robin Crawley with Rolu Business Solutions and she's. She's very knowledgeable and she also will skip trace the list for an extra fee, of course, but. Sweet, yeah. sweet. The only thing I'll say about the skip tracing is for, for those of you that are listening and that are skip tracing, which should be everybody here, make sure that you know where the data is coming from, right? Because all skip tracing is not created equally. Okay, so you want to make sure that it's not refurbished data, that it's you know coming directly from a, uh, a credit bureau source, okay? So um, make sure that you guys are, are doing that. So all skip tracing is not created equally, um, but you know, that's why I recommend the companies that I recommend, you know, so. Right, okay. Cool. Well, I think that's all the questions we have. You did a really good job. Um, a lot of people said they were very interested in the program and um, awesome. they're ready and you seem very knowledgeable and um, they wanna move forward. So I think you'll have some signups by midnight for sure. Thanks for offering cool. that free consultation. We really appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, I just, uh, I love helping people that are, that are hungry, they're motivated, like almost all of my clients, I would say are, are right there, like they're excited for the growth and they, they take action, and they're implementing, you know, that's the biggest thing, like guys, is taking action, okay, you have to take action in this business. It's like, that's the biggest thing. Okay, some people, they try to think too much, they might try to aim too accurately before they fire guys it is about taking massive imperfect action okay things don't have to be perfect before you take action so um yeah i would love to at the very least just have a conversation with you guys uh, that are you know thinking about uh, if this would be a good fit um and then you know our team there they can talk to you about your issues talk to you about your business you know uh talk to you about any um you know, any, any questions you might have towards any of the programs, talk to you about pricing and all that, all that good stuff and see if it would be a good match. In addition, um, we're, we're going to offer you uh, a really, really awesome um, deal. Uh, if you, you know, if you uh, jump on this coaching, I'm sorry, if you jump on this strategy call from, uh, from this link right here. So how many, um, how many um, slots do you do you have open, and how many days? Oh, open? right, yeah. Glad I'm glad you brought this up. So, uh, yeah, sorry, my mind is always just focused on just teaching, teaching, right? So uh, we have about seven. That's all we have left. So we have about seven slots left. Uh, it might be it might be six, six or seven. I have to check with my team. Oh, you have but, some speaking um, before, coaching. yeah, before the next round of coaching, which starts in three months. Okay. okay? So, um, you know, for those of you who are ready to, like, this is a perfect time, uh, especially, let's say, if you've made some money this year, you know, uh, it's a perfect time. December is always like, uh, like the time to make expenses, you know, uh, that you know that you're going to make if you've made money, right? You want to save on taxes before the end of the year. You know, December is always like my big expense month. So I, I myself, I think I spent about 40 or 50 grand just in coaching stuff, seminars and yeah, masterminds and, and January's stuff. January's right around the corner. So anything they purchase for their business right now, they can claim. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's a complete, mm -hmm. complete, yeah, it's a complete write-off as well. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah Grace, you know. Grace wants to know, and she's been er very active by the way, Grace, during this whole entire call. Okay. So really paying Appreciate attention. it, Grace. Really Thank attention. you. Um, how can we be sure about the skip tracing? Everybody says theirs comes from top data sources. Okay, you ask. You just ask where they're pulling it from, 
you ask the actual source, like what's the source of the point? The, the ones that you want to um, make sure that they're pulling from is TransUnion, um, DevPoint, uh, you have um, IDI, and then uh, there is, uh, there's, a, there's one or two more, but. Um, IDI data is actually really good. And if you deal with Tim Shannon, he'll give you guys a discount just for mentioning me. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They'll do skip tracing for 15 cents and yield you up to 10 phone numbers and five emails. And actually what's different about IDI is they'll actually um, skip trace the surrounding family members in the area on the pre-probates for free on top of the 15 cents. No, oh, cool, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so the, the skip tracing company that I use, they, the IDI is just one of their sources, right? Okay. So they, they skip trace from four different sources and that's why they have the best data around. Oh, okay. Which is freaking awesome. Um, but, you know, you do, you know, you do pay a little, so it is 18 cents with my coupon code. So it's a little bit more, but um, I think like you, you absolutely want to pay for the best data possible um, so that you can maximize on, on all of those leads. So, um, yeah. All right. So I think that's, the, that was the last question. Joe, it was awesome. great having you. We really appreciate yeah the time out for our people and guys don't don't forget you got till midnight to sign up for that uh free consultation absolutely yeah so so real quick guys like it um i'll show you what it what it, what it looks like um here i can actually just share my my screen with you um i'll show you what it looks like what the page looks like it'll look like this okay and uh it's just here apply for coaching there's a small little video but you guys already know everything that's on that video. So all you're gonna do is just click that uh, apply for coaching and it'll just uh, take you through a very short um, little application or survey uh, and just 11 short questions. Usually it will take you maybe less than five minutes to complete and then you can just schedule the call with us. And so, yeah, just wanted to show you guys what that looks like too. So would love to, uh, to have you guys or at the very least talk with you guys, you know, start a conversation and help you guys any way we can. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for having me, Tanji. This was this was great. This was awesome. Oh, you're muted. <laughs> I was coughing. Not a problem. Take care of yourself, and uh, I hope you guys all have a merry Christmas. Yeah, I'm, you're you're definitely already having a merry Christmas. Over, there. I need to get I need to get my lights over here. <laughs> yeah. um, we appreciate everything. Joe. Absolutely. All right, guys. Thank you guys for listening and thank you guys for having me and thank you, Tanji, for, uh, for the opportunity. Uh, have a great day, guys. Live powerfully, live purposefully. Uh, schedule your calls with us and we'll talk with you soon. Thank you. Bye. All right. Merry Christmas, everyone.